All right, testing, testing, testing. All right, I think we got our sound going. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Devil Strand, let's fucking go. Terrain Rehabilitation is next. You'll love to see it. All right. Somebody has to do something about this. I don't know how this happened. We gotta fix our uh we gotta fix our kill box. Wait a second, I'm gonna turn my mic. Alright. Hmm. Yo, chili, what's happening? What you, what you doing? Look at Tex just clapping right now. Wait, is everybody the right ideology? Oh, we don't even have an ideology. It doesn't even matter. Is Tex ever going to kill it? Jesus Christ, that was fucking... Trying to play a full... Wait, what do you mean by full? Are you talking about, like, take over the map kind of playthrough? Yeah, I do too, man. Like, I, I get into a playthrough, and then... What the fuck is it? Talata Kotal. I get, like, halfway through a playthrough, and then, some, like, life happens, and I have to stop playing for, like, two weeks, and then next thing you know... I gotta come back and just start fresh. Hey, Moo, what's up, my dude? I just gotta start fresh. But, I mean, it's like that with everything, though, for me. It, it, like, w Total War Warhammer 3 or 2. If I gotta, if I don't play for a couple days, fucking forget about it. When I come back, I'm like, well, it's time to start over. Hey, Gray. How are you? Top of the afternoon to you, to you crazy folks. You crazy, crazy bastards. What is everybody doing? Like right now? What's it? Wait, what's everybody wearing? Uh, <clears throat> right now. More specifically, what's everybody wearing on their feet right right now? Uh, yeah, FTX, basically, the short of it is this, Moon. FTX was, uh, well, well, yeah, is, was a crypto exchange that basically had its own form of currency. And so what that means is that people were giving FTX their money, um, essentially, and like they 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 were like either staking FTX or FTX had their money. Like I have my money on Coinbase, right? Like my money is with Coinbase. Well, what ended up happening was that the guy that ran FTX took all that money, right? That effectively belonged to customers. And he invested it into other crypto projects trying to get a return. So he was trying to make money off of people trading on FTX, but like then taking everybody's money and giving it to somebody else. It's like if your bank that you like like Chase or whoever your your direct deposits get put into took all the money in their bank, in their credit union, and invested it in cryptocurrency shit coins and lost it all. And then you showed up like, hi, I'd like to withdraw a thousand dollars. And the bank is like, we don't have your thousand dollars anymore. And you're like, why? And then they're like, well, <laughs> well, you see what happened was, but the worst part about it is that this guy, like first that's illegal, right? That, that, that's actually illegal. But the, the thing that's r super illegal about it is this guy, once everybody started to become concerned about them being solvent, he made a Twitter post that was like, everybody's funds are fine, the money is all there, everything's good. So he reassured everybody that everything was good when he knew, in fact, that things were the opposite of good. And that, like, it was him trying to buy time to, to, get, to get funds to remain solvent. And... So what ended up happening was um, 
this guy got in a beef with CZ, and CZ is the guy that runs Binance, and Binance is the fucking 500-pound elephant in the room of crypto exchanges. Oh, no. Uh, hold on. So he, he basically was, like, talking shit about CZ, who's, like, the nicest dude in crypto. Like, this guy that runs Binance is, like, crypto's fucking golden child. And this this guy, Sam Bankman Free, was, like, talking shit. And then when, when FTX started to go tits up, CZ was basically like, fuck it, I'll buy FTX. But then, once they went through the process of, like, due diligence, he realized how fucked FTX was. So, basically, it was like, FTX was about to crash. CZ stepped in and said, fuck it, we're, we're going to look into just buying FTX, make them whole. So, when it looked like everything was going to crash, the, the crypto markets held their breath. When CZ stepped in and was like, well, we'll just fucking buy FTX, right? Um, as an organ, like for billions of dollars, I'll pay billions of dollars and buy FTX. Everybody was like, oh, thank God. And then CZ was like, nope, we're not touching this fucking shit show because he figured out that this idiot that ran FTX had just basically reinvested it in, and lost everybody's money. And they were like, nope. And that's when everything just went to shit. Everything fell apart. Yes. It's basically like the 2008 financial. Yes. Yep. That is exactly right, my dude. <clears throat> All right. I forgot what we were doing. Welcome, everybody. Sorry, we, st we started talking crypto. The life tips, the mods, the hot macro, the true stories are Kenji. <laughs> you guys have no idea. The fucking YouTube hell. I mean, it's all my own fault, right? It's like, it's literally my own fault. The YouTube hell. Like, every spare second of, of every moment the last two days, I have been turning and burning fucking posts. Like, like videos. Editing and uploading videos for YouTube. Like, you guys have no idea. I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm like, I, we have two to three videos a day being posted all the way through december 1st and i still have like another six streams to go through six streams with probably five to eight markers a piece right so like another 50 clips which means like if if i take 50 clips two a day that's like another that's like christmas in addition to all the hot fucking like action that's gonna happen tonight what we really need to do to to lessen why is there a fucking what is this what we really need to do to lessen my YouTube burden is we just need to be less entertaining. You know what I mean? If we just take if we just take the entertainment level down a few notches, I won't have to work so hard uh, on on YouTube, guys. All right, are we producing enough food? Okay. That's right. Stream's got to suck more. We're definitely Wait a minute. Where is all my food? Uh that's right, we were doing some hunting. I'm not hunting the boomies. Oh shit, there's a couple of uh, gizels here. Let's snatch those up. Let's snatch all of this. Ooh, I'll eat platter fucking puss. Platter bussy, as they call it. <laughs> Yo, fuck it! Just kill all that shit. Nobody cares. Wait a second. Does that kill the Tlatacodal? Um, where was that? Yeah, we won't kill the Tlatacodal. We probably should tame that Tlatacodal. I think we have Tex on hunting. Joystick, whoops. Joystick should not be on hunting. Um, John doesn't have a weapon. Mads does, Tex. All right, we should be looking pretty good. Uh, let's get a, let's get a dumpy zone. Let's get a dumpy zone out here. And um, we'll make sure... We'll put all our, our stank ass corpses out here. Uh, do not allow fresh. Do not allow colonist. Do not allow fresh, there we go. All right, we're slamming some art. Uh, that's, that's good.
Where is my, wait, where's my zone for actual corpses though? Uh, let's just do like regular corpses right here. Uh, let's see, we're basically gonna need animal corpses in here. Um, but not rotten, there we go. Yeah, it's, ba it's basically just one trick. One trick spirit just haunting. Haunting the stream. Wait, we didn't try to kill him up alone, did we? Uh, that's right. Drag that fucker in here, lads. Muffalo, it's what's for dinner. Hey, Sketchy, what's going on? Oh, really? I thought it was the firehouse. Uh, the Sessias Fire Home is raiding us? Is raiding me? What the fuck? Wait, what are these guys? Oh, God, they're impids, and we live... We live in a... In a world where the walls are made of wood. Lives one man on a mission to burn it all down. Uh, we have the worst kill box ever. And also, this muffalo running, running fucking trap interference. Oh, man. Okay. I mean, these dudes, we do have, we, wait, we do have guns. Fuck these guys, man. Blast them down. It's fucking, oh, shit. That's not what we needed. Oh, my God. All right, let's get everybody. Wake everyone. Get them here. St don't stop shooting. Oh my god. Don't stop shooting meds. Oh god, meds. I need everybody. Alright, this is it. We're issuing the order. We're issuing order 66. Uh, we need search and destroy on everybody. Wait, I think we can... Um what if I animal call? Oh, I guess I can. Yo, Trevelyan, what's up, my dude? Look at Pittman! Pittman's an absolute fucking monster. Pittman is just... does not care. Uh, he might care now. He might care. Um, wait. What's everybody doing? Oh, fuck. Everybody's coming up. No, everybody's getting here. Stop fighting fires. Oh, shit, we can't get... I see what's happening. Oh, God, they're going to try to... Uh-oh, Joystick has to... Joystick can't fight. Joystick literally can't fight. Hurley. I need... Um, We can't let this guy get kidnapped, or else these refugees are going to be fucking angry. Fry, come up here. Fugly. Fugly, you guys got to just chase this dude down. Somebody has to change the, chase this guy down. Uh, everybody has to be a number one firefight, too. Yo, Bishop. No, no, no. I wanted to, um... I, I wanted to redo the front of this base anyway, so it's fine. And I think Hurley is gonna catch him. Oh, fuck. Wait. Oh, fuck. Alright, so... Juarez... Here, Lottie has to save Tex. John. Wolf. Wait, who is who is this guy trying to steal? Oh God! Wait, she can't fight. Not a sign of you constructing. Wait, who is that? Juarez. Whereas you are now assigned to deconstructing, my dude. We're gonna run we're gonna run intercept pattern alpha. Alright, did we get everybody? Alright, uh Hurley is gonna save Pittman. There we go. Bop this dude. Fucking bop him. Please don't. 
Fry, you're good. Just go home, buddy. We got it. We got it. Uh, you're good. You're good. Everybody needs to be on, on fire duty right now. Eat shit, humps. Eat sh Yeah, you little fucking horned ass impid bitch. Eat my ass, impid. All right. Uh, do we have a room to capture this idiot? Somebody's gonna pay. Somebody is gonna fucking pay. Uh, we don't have a, we don't have a prison yet. Someone's paying for this. Who is it? Who the fuck is it? Oh my god. Well, he's just gonna pay on the fucking spot for it then. You shit humps, you little impid bit. Oh shit! Oh shit, he's up. He's up. Everybody back. Everybody back. Uh, rescue Mads. Juarez is gonna have to 1v1 this guy. I'm stealing him back. There you go, idiot. Jesus Christ, 29 medicine. Got it. Uh, alright, everybody has to be on firefighting duty. Rescue Tex. Alright, we got Tex. We got Pittman. Oh, I don't think we're going to lose anybody. Uh, Pittman is not bleeding out. Wait, where the fuck is Val? Oh, shit. Uh, tend Val. Val is having a real bad time right now. Alright. Yeah, this was all one big ho ho hotel fucking insurance fraud scheme. Alright, Val is going to be okay. Rescue. Pittman needs to be tested. Mads bleeds out in 10 hours. Um, who's my, who my, where are my doctors? Oh God. Wait, yeah. All right. I need all the doctors to report to the hospital, please. <laughs> This is fine. I honestly, honestly, I wanted to redo the front quarter of our base anyway. We're going to move. I, this is all part of a plan to collect the insurance money and then re rebuild our base into something better. All right. That Thunder Ox is like, can just fuck off. Like, I just do not care about Thunder Oxes anymore. You know what I mean? Like, unless they produce, unless you can milk them and shear them and they lay eggs, like, I don't even care. Uh, Fugly is bleeding out. Oh, well, I would say... Here's here's what I'm going to submit. I would say... Wealth uh, buildings. Total items, wealth buildings is the green line. So... There's $29,000 in building wealth here. And... I will tell the insurance company that about a quarter of my base burned down. Therefore, my claim would be about a quarter of 30,000. If we round it up to 32, we can call it $8,000. That's right. That's right. And then I will fucking like leverage. I'll have lever I'll, I'll be like leveraged Tesla shorts all fucking day. All right. I guess nobody gives a shit about healing Fugly. Well, we need more room. <clears throat> you know, the thing is, we just need more room. This base, we're outgrowing this base too quickly. Also, what I, what I really, if I should have burnt anything down, I wish those fuckers had burnt this. 
know what I mean? Like, if these fuckers had just burnt this down, that would have been so good. But these guys are obviously di dickheads. All right. Well, that was that was a very successful uh, town defense right there. You love to see it. All right, what do I have? Can I have anything that can actually make weapons, or but but not but no though no. Make components. Twenty nine components. I'm a little light on steel. These in. Got some infection going on. I think the squad will take care of it. Uh, we might as well. Listen, the animals are not going to be happy about this. We're doing on power. All right, we're doing really well on power. Oh, hey, I got your video, today. I'm so sorry that I haven't had a chance to respond, man. I, uh, I've been with Jackson all day. It's been a long Jackson day today. But he is, uh, he's going to his cousin's birthday tonight, so I've got a, a little bit of time to, uh... Oh, shit, Mads? Miscarried. Oh. I'm happy that you're out of bed. I'm happy you're feeling better. Absolutely. Absolutely. What's going on, man? What is going on? Like, we've had these things for how long? Let's check it. These things have been here. Time is a calling us 51 days. They've given us 200 night wool. Night wool is worth. Two dollars and five hundred dollars is basically what we've made out of these dumb things, and we can't even milk them because they're male. Well, we can milk them, but it's not really like we can craft desserts with the type of milk they're providing. You made fish stock at four a.m. and said, "Oh, that's the worst." I was talking about this the other day about about like fish things. It just it just makes my house smell. You know what I mean? Like I, I there's there's a zero percent chance that I'll ever bake fish in my like in my oven. I just can't. My house will smell like fish for three days. Even if I make tuna fish, like I, I literally have to clean the bowl completely, and uh, like I, I gotta wash it out, scrub it, make sure that there's no tuna fish in there, and if, like if I'm gonna leave the bowl in the in the sink, I just I don't know what it is about the smell of tuna fish that I'm not a big fan of. Um, so, yeah, I wouldn't bake it. I definitely wouldn't fry it. Like, the the most that I would do, okay? Hear me out on this one, okay, uh, King? Sorry to everybody else who's kind of lived through this saga that I'm about to tell you about. Sam, I had a Sam's Club versus Costco beer-battered uh, fish filet bake-off, right? I got a little busted because I was telling people that I was making homemade beer battered cod fillets and then somebody fucking started to figure out that I was just like buying them frozen and heating them all out of them, but whatever. Those are bad. Like those don't make my um don't make my house smell too much like fish. And I know what you're asking yourself, like which was better, the Costco or the Scams Club? And I wanna be honest with you, I think that everything at Costco is probably just like broadly speaking, better quality than Sam's Club, right? But the beer battered fish fillets at Sam's Club are like the in one product in the. In Wait, who the fuck is this dude? Oh, he's a guest. All right, it's like the one product that that Sam's Club carries that's better than Costco. Oh, you've never been. Uh, I didn't have much utility. Here, you know, 
I haven't had much utility for um, either of them really until I had Jackson. Like, there's two things. There, well, there's two groups of things that I now buy. And I, I prefer Costco over Sam's Club. But Costco and Sam's Club actually really do. They have. They have phenomenal. Well, I don't want to say phenomenal. You could probably go to a butcher and get better ones. But they have really good. Uh, prime ribs. I, I really enjoy a good prime rib for co from Costco or Sam's Club. But the other thing is, now that I have Jackson, it's it's like I go buy, a, a, like for his lunches, I buy like those giant box of like 30 packs of goldfish and like 80 packs of fucking gummy bears and whatever. Because in the morning, in the morning, I have this whole setup where I just reach into a bin for when I make his lunch. It's like, boom, goldfish, boom, gummy bears, boom, chocolate muffins. And then, like, you know, I make him a turkey sandwich or whatever. But, like, the snacks, the things that he likes, I could just buy in fucking bulk. And they come in a giant container. And it's like an assembly line in the morning. I have this cupboard up above my refrigerator. And I just, like, pow, 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 pow. I just grab that shit. Um, so, yeah. Do I mean ribeye? So ri ribeye are like basically uh, cuts of steak. It would be a ribeye roast. When I say prime rib, I'm talking about a ribeye roast. Yes, technically. So ribeyes would be cuts of steak from what I would call a prime rib. Yeah. But I know that I know the state that you live in probably has some different rules for how they make these types of foods. My son fucking, like, the cheese balls. We got this, like, giant, like, two-gallon chug of cheese balls. This kid goes... I have to hide it from him. He goes fucking bananas for those cheese balls. And it's the ones that make your hands all orange when you eat them. So I'm like, I'm like, listen, you can eat cheese balls, but, like, don't touch anything in the house, bro. Just eat your cheese balls. Wait a goddamn second. Oh, God, that's so annoying. Um, Like, don't touch anything in my house. Right, and then we're gonna wash your hands. Wash your hands, and then and then you can touch stuff in the house. Wow, everybody's really sandbagging uh, in their healing process here. Texas is so full of shit with the stakes. The price, yeah. I honestly, I didn't want to like get into this on stream because I just want to talk hard world like hardcore rim world shit, but like. I just stopped buying meat altogether, man. Like, packs of chicken that I used to buy for, like, five or six bucks are, like, nine dollars right now. Like, w like we can say that inflation is at, like, eight percent, but that's kind of bullshit. Like, that's, I, and I know that's kind of, like, a broad calculation of a basket of things, but, like, even pork chops. Like, pork chops used to be, when I was poor, pork chops were the thing that I would eat because it was a high-protein source. It was very satiating, but, like, nobody likes pork chops but me. Like, I could go buy, like, a three fucking dollar pack of pork chops and it would be a meal, right? That shit is, like, nine bucks right now. That's nuts. The fact that pork chops currently cost as much um, as, like, just buying fucking ground beef or a steak or chicken, it is bananas to me. I know Bishop Bishop is torn up about his uh Bishop's real torn up about his pizza. Bone and chicken thighs. Actually I got a pretty good I got a pretty good deal last night on some like actually really big uh really big chicken breasts. So I cooked like three massive chicken breasts. Actually I meant to post the picture because I know everybody cares. I meant but well, maybe I did post the picture uh in Discord. I need to bring the food channel back. Hold on. General chat. Oh, I did. Yeah. That that sh that chicken's so good. Spent ramen? That just like an like a Wall Street Wall Street bets fucking degenerate, bro. That's why that's why like you're you're my people, Bishop. I mean, A, you love Rimworld. Uh B, you love the stonks. I wouldn't say food porn, but occasionally, because some people talk shit about me using the Ninja Foodie, and I feel the need to defend the Ninja Foodie, uh, so I'll, I'll occasionally post some pictures. Oh, have we seen the COD? I don't... Hold on. You know what? Hold the fuck on. I think I actually have a picture of the COD that I, I didn't post. Hold on. 
Yeah, let's fucking let's get this bread, everybody. Oh, it was a terrible picture, which is why I didn't post it. Um, yeah, I didn't take a good picture of the cod. Like the cod looks good, but like the framing and the plating and like everything else was terrible. I can do better. Hold on, I'll post it anyway. Here, I'm gonna post the. I'll post the picture of the cod. It, it was just. It's not a good picture. Like you can see with the chicken. Like I put some thought into the plating and how to position it and stuff. That cod. That picture of the cod is just like. It's just raw and unedited. Wait for pork chops. Who dares be? Some people talk shit about the foodie. I, I think it's a dick move, personally. Some nice cod fish and chips. Hell yes, my brother. All right, we have a couple. We have a couple things we need to do. We're not gonna have a kill box for a little bit. We spent way too much time looking at cooking YouTube channels. Nothing wrong with that. Also, um, uh, you know, River was asking about you the other day. I couldn't tell her how you were, so she went and asked, "Do it?" Oh, I'm doing really. I'm doing good, man. Um, like, I, honestly, life is pretty crazy. I started a new job. Uh, this last week was my third week at my new job. My new job is fucking pretty bananas, man. They're paying me a shitload of money, and it's like. The, the job is completely in alignment with my skill set, so I'm not going to say it's going to be easy, but it's kind of like one of those jobs where it's everything that I want to do and nothing that I don't. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that, and it was it was a really, really big fucking pay increase. So you can't beat that. So I've done that. Honestly, I've just been streaming my ass off. Like, if I'm not at work and if I'm not with Jackson, like, I'm streaming. I streamed almost 200 hours in the last 30 days. And if I'm if I'm not with my son and I'm not working and I'm not streaming, um, I'm basically trying to fucking keep the YouTube channel together. So, job is good, man. I'll, I'll send you the details. I'll send you the details on it. Let me see. Also, we have the new YouTube channel up that I've actually been committed to. I've actually been committed to this YouTube channel, and uh, and and keeping it going for the most part. But I'm going to be, I overhauled the channel a little bit today. I'm going to be doing things a little differently. And for those that are, that, that this is relevant to in the stream, I'm going to be overhauling at some point, I'm going to be overhauling the discord to be a little more role friendly, a little more user friendly and a little more community inclusive. So, um, if anybody is in the chat, Agent Hubby, what's going on? Sorry, I saw you say for pork chops, but I didn't see it was you. I didn't even say hi. All right, everybody, stop talking shit about Canadians, okay? I will not. I will not stand for people shit talking Canadians, okay? I know a handful of Canadians. They're all assholes, but I know them. Oh, John, hey, what's going on, dude? Speaking of Canada, I was just talking about Canada, and then you came in. What's up, Asian Hubby? How, how have you been? So, you now have 95 subs on YouTube. Oh, thank you, buddy. I know we're closing in on 100. It's kind of cool, man. It's kind of cool. Well, thank you. So, I'm trying to get like two videos a day up on YouTube. I did really well. Um, if you look, it's funny because if you look at the playlist, I broke them out by month. It was like August, like 20 videos. September, like, I don't know, 15 videos. October, eight videos. November, I have like 50 videos scheduled for November. Who's <laughs> no, I, you know, I was what I was trying to do and I'll, I'll just I'll just pull back the curtain here. Um, John, my friend Drask, not to dox him, but he's one of my friends from the Great White North. Um, 
I was making it sound like you guys were all shit talking Canadians and I was standing up for them because I knew John, but also by calling him an asshole. And Gray, I guess. Yeah, we're closing in on 100 subs on the channel. I'm I'm happy with it. I'm 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 actually I wish I hadn't let myself got so get so far behind. It's been fucking miserable the last 3 days getting caught up. It's been it's been a miserable amount of, amount of work to get caught up the last 3 days. But like I have so much fun because because I was so far behind. I was like a month behind on YouTube. It's so much fun to go into those streams that have all the stream markers that I've left and all the clips that you guys make. Cause, so when I go in and I look at um, the uh, uh, when I go to highlight, when I go in to like look at the stream, it shows me every stream marker I've left and every clip that you guys have like made. So it, it's a lot of fun to go through those and kind of remember all those fun runs that we had. Like I was actually clipping the World War II one uh, yesterday, like where we were blowing people up with chem shine and stuff like that. It seems like forever ago that we did that run, but it's kind of like a, definitely a memory lane uh, to go through and, and, and clip those. So yeah, it's like a lot of work and it can be a little mind numbing, but it's fun to see those and be able to kind of relive some of those moments and hopefully you guys can do the same. I've been making the same Canadian joke? N no, the Canadian joke that I've been making for 20 years is saying things like oot in a boot. I'm gonna get oot in a boot because that's the type of things that I think that Canadians say. Listen, I was born and raised in Vermont. I think I know everything I need to know about Canadians. All right, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna try to get some stone cutting done here, honestly. Uh, we're gonna get a little stone cutting done. We need to, uh, uh, we need to basically, Also 20 years. I know, dude. I know. All right, let's take a look at our guests. Let's make sure that we are entertaining everybody. I want everyone to have a great experience here. I'm thinking about joining Costco. Uh, I mean, here's the thing. I think that... I think that, like, there's a type of person that you need to be, probably, to get value out of Costco. Uh, you know, I think, like, a family would get value out of Costco... Um, you know, it, obviously it's like going and buying big volumes of things, but you know, I go in and I can buy like, I don't know, like once a month I can go spend maybe like 300 bucks and I'll have all of the beer battered like cod fillets I need, all of Jackson's snackies for his lunch, uh, and a handful of other things. Have you heard about this guy on YouTube, Gold Shaw Farm? No, I have not. I have not. Do I need to check him out? All right, the void have expanded. Nobody cares, though. It's a former corpo turned farmer in Vermont. Rivers. Oh, that's awesome. It's quite the rabbit hole. I'll check it out. I wonder where he is in Vermont. I want to see if it's anywhere near where I grew up. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's up by St. Johnsbury. Yeah, it's up by, like, Barry and St. Johnsbury, yeah. It is it's definitely, it's definitely the place to go to get that TP. Hell yeah. Alright, so some point, Anthony is an Inquisitress. What do you guys think that is? What do you guys think an Inquisitress is? Was an inquisitor in the Imperial Church's anti-heresy school. Uh, Anthony hunted unorthodox thoughts wherever they could be found. Art, music, code, even private conversations. 
Upon a finding of deviance, she exposed it to bring on the punishment of the collective. And she could always find the deviance if she looked hard enough. Damn. Do we have to kill her? Wait, why am I... Yeah, maybe... Wait a minute, who's on entertain? Here, let's take let's take some pokes off. Fry was pissing everybody off. Wait, Fry? Yeah, for, Fry is in four. Four social. Yeah, let's... Let's stop pissing people off. Juarez is at 11. That'll give me three people on entertain. That's going to be enough. Is, is, is she hot? She's high in like a fucking like, like single mom inquisitor kind of way for sure. Like for sure. Like you fucking read about in Inquisitress Monthly. <laughs> I like how Gray, like, has some great callbacks to obscure things that I've talked about on stream. I appreciate that. All right, what is going on with my cotton right now? Okay, I think we're going to be good on cotton. Let's go ahead and get some floors in. What color did we use here? We used pine green. You'll love to see it. Where's that pine green? Uh-oh, Fry and John getting they fo well not anymore, now they're passed out. Wonder if I have any preggers. I don't think wait, joystick? Joystick does not like Joystick is not I'm gonna be honest. I, I I'm not gonna be able to handle mentally if joystick like gets married or starts fucking. You know what I mean? Well, I mean I think joystick is still like eleven. Okay, like, but I mean, like, when Joystick is, like, of age, I think it's gonna be, I don't know, she just had, it, it would be like learning out that your sister is having sex. I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna be okay with that, guys. I, I'm not gonna be okay with that. <laughs> Gross and good for her. No. Uh, our little baby becoming of age and getting dicked down by one of these bearded fucking savages that just show up? No. No. N no. She does n no. Joystick Thank you for your follow. I am most sincerely and affectionately grateful to you and am full of pleasure and delight. Uh, thank you for the follow, Mad Dog. No. No. She does not talk dirty. She was not born to fuck. No. A waste? No, my joystick will not date a waster or a fucking Wookie. I will. I'm gonna kill the first person that even lays a hand on her. Okay, I'm just, I'm just telling you guys now. Prepare for it. Uh, we have to find somebody that's good enough for my joystick. They have to be, they have to be like a stand-up. They have to be like an imperial fucking like arena gladiator soldier, like basically Russell Crowe. My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius, father to a murdered son, husband to a murdered wife, and I will have my vengeance in this life or the next. You know that one? You know that one? Yeah. My beard is long and groomed. My, it is, it is not, John. It is not, John. Fat suits. She would give you name. Well, you you have to name it Diesel. Okay, tell her tell her that you're happy to give her a baby, but it needs to be named Diesel. That's that's just. Just tell her that's the fucking rule. Listen, I'll, I'll, I'll give you the list of names, okay? 
It has to be diesel, or it has to be something that's like cool, edgy, like a Xavier or something. Did someone say they need some dicking down? Reporting for duty, sir. Bearded, toxic waster with tats and annoying breathing. Hmm. No, Mad Dog, you're not good enough for my joystick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be. I'm not trying to be like one of those fucking boomers about like being defensive of of their their daughter. I'm not trying to be cringe, but now, listen, I appreciate the waster people in the waster culture and i appreciate people with tats i have tats a tat yes before one trick points it out it is it is a tr it is a tribal tattoo i i'm just gonna admit it i got it um and i don't even mind people that are creepy breathers okay but but it's not good enough for my joystick. Okay? If you want a piece of my joystick, you need to be an honorable, some form of honorable gladiator, pit fighter, or duelist. On the side of right. I don't mean like you're out there fighting for money. I mean, you have to be out there in like... Like, if I win this duel, we free a million slaves kind of shit. Like, some Game of Thrones, like, breaker of, of chains, like, mother of slaves type of shit. You know what I'm saying? No, John! No. Joystick does not do backdoor. She does not do backdoor. Okay? It's missionary only. Okay? Missionary only. <laughs> a tribal tramp stamp. No! Guys, my joystick is pure and unadulterated, and she's fucking a delicate flower. And she she will only meet the nicest person. Okay? The nice, honorable, hardworking man. Or woman. Lottie wants to join us. Let's see what Lottie... Let's take a peek under the hood. She has high social. I... What, what the fuck? She has high social, and I need people that contend. Uh, yeah, it's fine, Lottie. Come on in. Find your own fucking bed somewhere. But not in joysticks. Hey, what's happening, Yed? Killa's joystick is peered on the... <laughs> okay, okay, phrasing. Phrasing. No, there's not a bunny. Tr there's not a bunny train. Please, please, everyone, settle down. Well, I'm I'm trying to just beat off all these guys that are that that are that are having impure thoughts about my joystick. And by joystick, I'm referring to my my bunny girl. Hey, great! What's happening? Well, thank you for the gift sub. You want that clip, Trevelyan? All right, I'll get it. What's up, Yed? Shout out to Yed. Shout out to Bishop. Okay, if you beat me off, I'll leave the bloody girl. Seems like a fair trade. I'll do what I gotta do. We must defend the bunny girl at all costs. Hey, when you gotta beat off the boys hurting. See, Yed gets it. Yed gets it. Oh, it's. Oh, great. Well, thank. Oh, I guess I misread that. Thank you. So I didn't mean to short sell you on that acknowledgement of your sub. Great. Thank you for continuing the sub. Yed gets it. <laughs> What's the timer is down? What a quaint little base that we're making here. It is totally not a square. Or anything. It's taking us a hot minute. Alright, listen. This is going to be an unpopular thing that we have to do here. And I just want to... Actually, we can't... Okay, fuck it. We're just going to do it, team. We, have, we just... We got to pull off the band-aid on this one.
The timer goes faster if you use the jo yeah, if you have the right inputs on the joystick. Oh my god, I wish. Oh yeah, this is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna do it like the lazy way. Um, let's move this back. Wait a minute, but not like that. I think we've almost got this done. Are we doing our food? Neat. We're, we're doing we're doing about about as well as we always are all right let's kill these fucking hedgehogs and these and these ibixes and that koala where's tex is tex uh yeah i see tex hunting all right we're all eating raw fucking rice as usual The guests are not going to be happy with this level of service. Okay, whoever is cooking also needs to not be on anything else. It's fine. Also, whoever is on <laughs> harvesting needs to come off of constructing. There we go. I just need... We got to get the food train, guys. We got to get the food train. I mean, it's important for us to get these walls up, but... We're about to have a real bad time when the food runs out and everybody starts eating each other. Uh, Alright, let's go ahead and... I mean, I guess it just doesn't matter. There we go. Also, I'm streaming tonight until I can until I receive a text. Like, I got to imagine it's gonna be like a couple hours. Uh, but my boy is uh, my boy is at a birthday party tonight, and whenever that birthday party ends, they might keep him the night, and then we'll go all night like fucking the lumberjacks we are. Or I might have to go pick him up at like eight thirty or nine o'clock. So. I think we're probably good here for now let's go ahead and shut this operation down for now thanks Lottie I guess we should probably put in some things for our Z-Shoes to sleep on I don't even think these things are these things even helpful can't even haul they can they can follow uh, I, I currently have the beds at zero dollars because we kind of live in a shit pit, but the guests can buy stuff. They can they can buy stuff in the areas that they're zoned to. So yes, we can make we can make money. I just don't have anything for them to buy right now. We can we probably can I think we can bump these up a bit. Um Yeah, price of the bed. Yeah, we could do like ten bucks for bed. For bed. There we go. So there's a, there's a few things you could do, Raisin. I don't know if you I don't know if you've ever played hospitality before, but um, so if you have people set to entertain, then they will talk to these people and try to charm them. And once you get enough friends in the colony, you can actually recruit people into the colony. But it, it has the chance to piss off the faction uh that they came from so you, you kind of want to do it sparingly um 
So yeah, they will they will buy stuff that you have in your in your base uh, as long as they're zoned to be able to do so. And then um, they also leave you gifts. Like the the happier they are, the better chance they'll leave you a gift. So sometimes they leave components, sometimes they leave silver, sometimes they leave like just fucking random bullshit. But I mean, it's it's passive income. All right, guys, Fry is pregnant. We need to. Where's fuck? Why do we have no food? Wait, where did Texas Gun go? Alright, Fry is on hunting duty now. Just go. We have to redo all of these pretty soon. Alright, I need I need somebody hunting. <sighs> so disappointed. But Fry is cloud watching. Okay, fuck me, I guess. Malnutrition. If she If she miscarries because of malnutrition, it's gonna be like big sag. Fucking big sag. Oh, you've never seen hospitality. Yeah, you just um you, you can set the the beds for guests, and then people will come in. Guest has nothing to eat. And then it'll tell you if they're happy. Like, she's at 100% um, happiness right now. But it'll tell you if they're happy or not. So, like, really what you want to try to do is build your colony so that when the guests come in, they're mega happy. And that you're charming them. So that maybe you can recruit some of the really good people. And then also, because the happier they are, the more frequently they will come back and the better the gifts they will leave you. We're definitely going to need more room to grow shit. See, they're giving me the, look at this. Look at these gifts. So, she left me a melee axe. Excellent. Melee axe. 773. 773 damage. Who's a good meleeist? Hurley. We'll give that to Hurley, and then Tex can take this bow. No, Fry is not... No, John. No, no John, that's not what's happening. You just fucking misread. You misread the situation, my dude. Are you playing any of the Mayhem Path of Exile stuff, John? I don't know if I asked you this or not. Uh, alright. No! Mad Dog did not go ham. First of all, she's not even of age yet. You guys are talking about my joystick, okay? Look at plants. She's fun-loving, nimble, jogger, kind... But she's a delicate little flower. Also, you know what I feel like with these fucking... Just... Oh, shit. Somebody kill that thing and eat it. We need some food in this bitch. Um... <laughs> you gonna slide into her DMs? Nope. No, you are not. No, you are not. Alright, let's get rid of that. Let's, um... Let's make this like a quaint. Uh, this one over here. Let's move our cotton here. Boop. Let's go ahead and hit it with the tilled soil. Boop. Uh, let's go ahead and. 46% grown. Do we have enough medicine? I have 109 medicine. Just fuck that shit. And fuck that shit. Let's go ahead and move it. Maybe over here we just do like a little thing here and then like a little like a little thing here. Uh we'll go ahead and do a heal root here. 
We'll do that smoke, that smoke dizzle over here. We're also gonna hit it with the cheat soil. Bzz, bzz. Got it, nice. Uh, that is definitely gonna allow us to expand this uh, rice spot out. And by expanding the rice spot out, it's going to allow us to make better meals, right? Because the more, the more uh, rice that we are producing, the higher quality meals we can make. And the higher quality meals we can make, the happier our colonists and our guests will be. Yeah, nobody is sliding into her anything, okay? Also, we do not have a, a trap maze or a kill box right now, which I think is probably a terrible idea. We're, we're definitely... We're definitely going to pay the price on this one. Maybe we should make sure everybody has a weapon. Um, all right, you get this. Fugly. Get this. Mads. Mads can shoot a bit. That's bio-coded. We'll give Mads the slingshot. We definitely need to get some better weapons. What are we researching? Tree sowing so that we can get cocoa. We have prioritized fine desserts over smithing, which... Yeah, that is yeah, that is true. We uh, problem is I haven't decided. I think we're gonna end up building more like hospitals and colonist rooms down here. I mean, I don't think this is gonna be the spot for the hospital. And the problem is I could put the kill box. Like I, I can't put really put the kill box here because of this. I could put the kill box like here and then we yeah i think i'm gonna have to do that no it's not arbor over armor is it sometimes you have to prioritize trees over protection it's uh, two different things it's a very nuanced argument i don't expect you guys to get it uh all right let's go ahead and floors we need those pine green floors all right Ooh, we got more fucking in here. Hurley and Mads. Hell yes. Fucking hit that shit. Like, but also, like, politely. Okay. With cla in a classy way, hit it. Alright, we're getting it done here, team. Bro, nobody will be referring to the bunny hole, okay? Nobody is referring to the bunny hole. That is that is not a thing. You sick fucks. I mean, technically, we could put the kill box here. And that would kind of let us, that would let us, not, not that I enjoy making rectangular races or whatever, but like we could do something like this, you know? I feel like maybe it's the right thing to do. We have to dig all these dead people out. These, the dead people are definitely a problem, but we'll take care of it. It's, it's not like, it, it, it's not like we started with a 10 year old rabbit that can't fight naked brutality to have our colony ended when we have like, nine people you know what i mean that's not gonna happen these people will fight to defend joystick at all costs oh you want me to get some ratkin in here chili some ratkin no negative fucking negative ghost rider all right we got these meals rolling in finally Honestly, if we are going to put our kill box here, then it makes a lot of sense to keep the hospital there. I don't hate that. What do we have on the map? Do we have anything sexy happening on the map? But not really, though. What is Pittman doing? She's playing chess by herself. 
All right, we got a little bit of steel. Our research is like going slow AF. We have like a dog dude. We have a dog man doing our research. I don't even think that's, oh, he's at 14. Okay, that's a smart dog dude. Uh, we got 14 meals. We got plenty of simple meals. Wait, uh, what did we get for power? Did we get anything sexy for power? Nah. I'm so sad. I, uh, I had a disgusting idea. I w I'm rebranding the YouTube channel a bit, and I had an amazing idea. I found a guy on Fiverr that does banners, but, like, I have to send him the concept art, and then he, like, blends the character art into the banner um, with my name and everything. And I had an amazing idea. And I wasn't going to tell you guys about this, but the, the artist shut it down. I reached out to the guy that does the Moyo mod, and I asked if he would allow me to use the the art from the Moyo thumbnails in a YouTube banner. And he said no. Like, I get it. Like, it's his art and whatever. I'm not mad about it. But it would have been fucking amazing if my YouTube banner would have had, like, Moyos and shit in it. It would have been, like, Moyos and helicopters and, like, a bunny girl would have been my YouTube banner. Big sad. And Void. And it's not Lassie. You can't talk. You can't call the dog people like dog things, dude. That's not. They're not. They're not like dog people. They're dog people. Plenty of meals. You see if you can make me a joystick. All right. Uh, we're gonna basically. Oh God, what's my? Oh, my power grid's not that terrible. Okay. Um, but then grab all of this, break that down. Let's let's just cut all this shit. Nobody cares. We got other. We got bigger shit going on. We got big shit popping. All right, guys, we have some guests here. Let's really... Okay, I forget how to actually set this. Um... Oh, here we go, here we go. So, they nobody's been shopping anything. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set them to the home area for shopping. Allow new guest beds. Uh, good. Get, guests may take food for free. That shit can fuck off. All right, so I'm at 1,072 silver. Let's see how much we make off of this, all right? Well, there's their... Oh, we're already charming them. Wait, Lottie is... Wait. Oh, yeah, that's why we got Lottie. Was to entertain. Lottie is our chief entertainer. Lottie, Juarez... Let's let's take... Oh, God, not a... Not... Okay. Uh, set them to entertain. I thought we did. Map settings. Oh, try to entertain. Try to create... Oh, so it'll just do it automatically. Okay, good call, good call, good call. Val is about to have a bad time. I need we get the squad out here and protect Val. Pittman, get your thick ass booty out here. Yeah, I was I was setting it each time like an idiot. Alright, Fry. Thank you. I need everybody. Nice. Tag it and bag it, baby. I mean, we definitely need to make this place nicer so the guests will like us more. No, we're about to build it, White Tiger. We're about to we're about to build it. We're working on it right now, my dude. Don't you worry. Okay, pumpkin. Okay, pumpkin. Daddy's here. Dad, wait. Why is why is our wolf man? Uh, he bleeds out in nine hours. We're gonna need somebody. We're gonna need a fucking doctor. All right, we're on it. Joystick is on it. 
What is going on, White Tiger? Wait, did you, wait, when you say wrapped it up, you mean you wrapped up your stream or like you finished uh, Cyberpunk? I'm excited to play Ogre, Ogre Tactics Reborn tonight on my Steam Deck after, after stream. I wasn't able to play it today because I've been with my boy all day, but I'm pretty excited. I'm excited because all I've, I have a $650 stream deck that has only played Brotato so far. So I'm ready. I'm ready to branch out. How are we looking? We're still on tree sowing. God damn. Well, I guess our chief researcher. So we have two people on research. That would be Fry and Wool. Fry has been on hunting. That is true. Uh, yeah, Bishop, it just, it is, it is on PC. Yeah, it's on Steam. It just came out today. It released. Dude, Brotato is a lot of fun. I've actually really been enjoying Brotato. I know that sounds stupid because uh, you guys, like all of you just kind of know me as a hardcore gamer. To love something as silly as Brotato probably seems beneath me, but... It's a lot of fun trying to unlock all the danger levels with all the different crazy characters. It's a lot of fun. Guess can't claim bed. Why? Oh, I need. Oh, they're broke. Okay. Um, let's set some of our beds for zero dollars in case we get some absolute fucking brokies in here. Yeah, so you've been playing it. Have you been... Uh, is, it, is it good? How are my guests doing? Oh, 100%. 91%. 83%. They actually love this place. They fucking love it. I'm at 1,092 silver right now. Why are they working, though? Is Val charming, people? I feel like we're getting a lot of things just a little bit done, and it's it's kind of annoying. I'm kind of an all-in guy in this game. Like, I kind of want, like, everybody working on, like, one thing. That way we can just, bam, like, get it done, and then we just move on to the next thing. But, like, we're kind of making food, and we're kind of doing research, and we're kind of building things, and, like... It's not satisfying, you know? That's why I like, like, a 40-person colony. But this will end up being probably... Maybe we try to get this up to, like, 60, right? And we'll have, like, 10 people just dedicated to, like, entertaining our guest. And we'll have, like, a, a, a squad of, like, fucking voided out, like, void soldiers defending the place. Like, void bionics, void guns, like, void fucking brain implants, void dicks, like, the whole thing. And then, I don't know what the other uh, 40 people are going to do. Oh, this guy's eating some jerky. How happy is he eating jerky? I feel like Fry just came in and took this guy's fucking chair. Look, there was all these chairs here, and Fry was like, nope, I'm going to sit right there. Let's see how happy Isamu is. So, I mean, apparently he's into that shit. He's 89% happy. Yeah, you're, this, yeah, your silo is not going anywhere near joystick. In case, in case there was any confusion. Can we actually... Oh, we can, but it's annoying. No.
I kind of want to move these two because I want to get some some beehives in. God, I need to move everything, guys. Like literally everything. Let's um Let's do some slate blockies in here. I don't know why I just hit that button. Uh there we go. Go ahead and grab that. Got a little bit of uh, art everywhere. We're just spreading it. Ooh, Joystick is about to level up. Joystick is going to be an amazing, amazing empath. Bada bing, let's go. We're gonna work our way towards opening up both psychic suits. What do we think? How many like males and females do we have? Maybe we should. It's impossible to know. We're just gonna we're just gonna go females first. We gotta keep the the ladies happy. Word of love. For days afterward, the listener will feel psychically induced romantic attraction towards the other person. Oh, I don't. Oh, I don't want. I don't want Joystick like forcing other people to love her. Like I was hoping, I was hoping Word of Love would be like if two people are married, I could Word of Love like the wife or the husband so that they would have sex. No. No, Gray Mulkin, she is not. Alright, here we go. We finally have some food rolling in. Um, That should be set to just rice. <laughs> Mad time. Not like this. Not like this. I will walk Joystick. I will run her. Oh, shit. You guys keep talking shit, and I will send Joystick over here to Fort Judgment to get voided out. We, we will just give her, like, m mega void implants. Um, we are working on... Jesus Christ, like, the research isn't going anywhere. Right, we are getting caught back up on food. That's good. Any day now, Val is going to... What's her mining? What's his mining? Uh, 5.17. All right. Thank goodness. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and remove this roof here. Boop. We got to remove this. All right, so if we're gonna do, if we're gonna do a nice like fatty, fatty kill box, like this. You know what? I I hate this idea, and I wish that I didn't want to do it, but. Something like this. Wait, it has to be an odd number, though. <sighs> Fucking hell. Fine. Fine, you win, game. You fucking win. Where do we think the middle is? Probably gonna be that one right there. Get that open. Close this up. Door in here. We'll get all that dug out. Yo, Tova, what's going on? I know that's why you enjoy this stream so much, Tova. It's because all we do is win, 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 no matter what. What's going on, Tova?
Let's do a guess check. 100%, 100%, 89. These guys are going to leave us some banana shit, by the way. Like, absolutely banana shit. It's going to be like another excellent quality copper axe. Like, 6 DPS. Probably with an infusion. It's going to be plus uh, 0 0.5 beauty. Okay. No, Tova, Tova under, Tova will understand my point, okay? There are some folks that are promoting some very impure ideas about my beloved joystick, okay? And I've told everybody, fucking hands off. She's not marrying anybody unless it's like the right person. Like joystick is not getting dicked down by some fucking savage that just walks through the door. Like she's going to meet a nice man. That's going to treat her right. A tender lover. Okay? Somebody like with an honorable profession. Okay? And they're going to fall in love madly. And then they're going to have beautiful little hybrid baby impid fucking like whatever babies. That's what we're saying like when she gets older. Yes, we're saying when she comes of age, Tova. Like... Er this is like that that fucking countdown to Taylor Swift turning 18 shit that was going around the internet like five years ago. There's there's like the joystick countdown right now. There's people that think that joystick Look at look at look at look at look at they are absolutely amazed. 100. They didn't get Oh, they gave me a gift. 24 plasteel, guys. Holy shit. Thank you, Gray. That's that's right. That's right. <laughs> Hands off, mouth only. No, John. No, John. That is not what was discussed. Thank you, Tova. Thank you. See, I knew... I knew Tova... I knew once Tova showed up, she was going to break out the mom stick and sort you fuckers out. I knew she was going to... Thank you, Tova. I'm glad you showed up tonight. I needed some backup. I needed to, I needed some backup to stave off the weirdos. But she now has word of love. When the time comes, we're gonna find a guest. Actually, we're gonna um we're gonna fucking word of happiness. We're gonna word of joy fugly. Fugly is like just having a bad time. But well, she got cheated on by Hurley. Yeah, maybe we should just like maybe we should just get rid of that. Here you come. Here you go. Boop. Wait, did it happen? Uh, fucking hello. Wait. No. What? There we go. Alright, we'll make it all better. Joy fuzz, bada bing, let's go. Everybody gonna be happy around here. Wait, what keeps me from, um... What keeps me from just joy fuzzing our guests, right? And just making them happy so they leave us shit. Basically, kill us treating the bunny like a goddamn princess or noble, believing only the be Yes, Baz? Despite the fact that in Rimworld... No, we're gonna find... We're gonna find her Prince Charming. We're gonna find her Prince Charming. That's gonna be one of our win conditions. Okay? Our win condition is to build the most beautiful hotel anybody's ever seen. But also to find the Prince Charming of RimWorld. Okay? Just so we're all clear. Anybody fucks around gonna find out. Like, acquaintance? Who do we have to kill? A plus, a plus 20 acquaintance. I think we need a deep talk times three. Mads, I will fucking cut your head off in front of everybody. Tell you what else we're gonna do while we're at it. I have some plans, team. You guys are gonna love how this colony develops, I think. Yeah, we're we're running commitment mode because we're not we're not pussies anymore. I mean we're running adventure story because we're kind of pussies, but we're running commitment mode because we're like not pussies, if that makes sense. Uh, 
well, I just we are are so this is actually a really new run, right? Um, four hours. We're like four hours into this run. We haven't really grown enough. So we're four hours into this run, uh, King. But for context. The reason, so for context, we started this run Naked Brutality with this character, right? And I know that you're an old school RimWorld veteran, so you'll understand this. But, so this was Naked Brutality. And with a character that, by default, has both Wimp and Delicate. So, like, they're capable of violence, but if they get hit by anything, they will just be killed. So, really our first hour of this playthrough was like hiding behind all our spike traps from all the animals that were trying to kill us and and the raids and stuff so like our first hour of this run was just like us being little bitches in our base and then we had a crash we had a shuttle crash and we saved like four people and all of them joined us and then it's kind of been building from there like usually you put down carpet before <laughs> that's king listen i think I think there's the thing. You haven't been around the stream for a while, right? Because you have been taking care of yourself. Um, it's been a little while since you visited, but I think that what you're going to find is like the killer from like six months ago to the killer now are, are, I'm two different people, man. Somehow, when I went from like 2,000 hours to 3,000 hours, I just kind of transcended the realm of mere mortal RimWorld players. You see what I'm saying? Like, the first 2,000 hours, it was training wheels. 2,000 to 3,000, and... I'm basically a god now. It's time to get a big boy fucking on, baby. Get it down, baby, I'm a big boy. I'm a big boy, and it's time to get the fuck on now. I would say some people take the training wheels off and about, well, I, I think here's the problem with, with a game like RimWorld, right? Like, let's say, let's say like Elden Ring, right? If you put a thousand hours into Elden Ring, then you know, like 500 hours in Elden Ring, like, you know, everything there is to know about Elden Ring because Elden Ring is very static, right? Like nothing, nothing has changed, but I think when we look at 3,000 hours of RimWorld, you have to remember that it's like 3,000 hours of trying like 5,000 different mods and all the DLCs and all the different, you know what I mean? Like, it's a it's an ever-changing thing. It's a moving target. It's 3,000 hours of trying to hit a moving target. Whereas in a game like Elden Ring, like, you just learn how to beat the bosses and then you just go back and beat the bosses. But in, in RimWorld, because there's so many mods that we try... It's like every time you go to beat the boss, there's a different boss. You have to relearn the boss. You know? Did you ever see the true end game? Did you ever do the ship? Yes. Yeah, we've... So we have gone off-world before. We got off-world a couple of times. And King, I don't know if you ever played the SOS2 stuff, the spaceship stuff. Have you ever seen any of the SOS2 mod? We... The, the, if you haven't seen the Save Our Ship 2 stuff... King, it is going to blow your fucking mind what you can do in this game with the Save Our Ship 2 mod. The SOS 2 mod. I don't know if it was around back when you played. But, hold on, I'll link you... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if you've never seen it, like, that's an example of, of one of our battles. If you get some time to watch it. I mean, you can, I mean, I know you subscribe to the YouTube, but you can, um... You can find it there. It's fucking wild, man. Like, you build these crazy, crazy big ships. And then, basically, you just go into space. And you can, like, mine asteroids. You can fight other ships. You, you can come across abandoned bases where you can, like, break everything down and fucking... T it's, it is, it's like a different game. Right? It's nutty.
So I want to make a couple of quick announcements while there's no action in the game. So number one, um, I've re I revamped the layout of the YouTube channel. So if you guys are interested in seeing the clips or the highlights and things like that uh, from the channel, like they're all getting up there. I'm scheduling about two a day. Um, so every day you'll have anywhere from two to three videos around 2 p.m. Um, scheduled all the way out through December 1st. And they'll probably going to have, I, I have enough to do right now to probably get us through Christmas. So um, I'm doing the older stuff first. So the stuff that's like going on today is like a month old and then we'll get caught up. So uh, everything is on there and I've broken the format on the front page of YouTube down by, by month. So it'll be like all highlights from August, September, October, November, whatever. So um, that is number one. Number two, for anybody that is a RimWorld streamer in the chat, I know there's a few of you, like Bishop, uh, I think Alkal might be here. Anybody, um, I, I'm i going to be basically rehauling, overhauling the Discord. If you guys would like to have a stream notification in our Discord when you go live, talk to me about it. Happy to do that. If you guys are interested, I, I would, um, if you're doing YouTube content with your RimWorld, if you'd like to be a recommended channel at the bottom of my page, I'm happy to put you guys on there. I'm not promising this is going to get anybody any views or any traffic or any exposure or any anything, but it can't hurt, and I'm happy to do it because I think there's a lot of really great, um, there's a lot of really great, like, streamers and YouTubers and talent in our small kind of TTK-ish community, so you guys are welcome to that. Um... And I probably am also going to be putting um, a, a community video uh, channel back in the Discord. So if you guys would like to, if you're publishing things to YouTube and you would like to um, have it auto-posted there, let me know. We'll get that set up with a bot. And um, there'll be a bunch of things happening. But I think for the folks who are kind of streaming, the folks who are doing YouTube, the folks who are, you know, whatever, I would like to do as much as I can um, to help get, you know, whatever whatever exposure I can I can send. Um, that way. So I'm going to be rebranding. So the Iron Dragon Fist, I have to rebrand this. So I'm rebranding the world of the Iron Dragon Fist, um, like, uh, over. And you guys will see that. So a long time ago, this was probably, like, when we played Albion Online. Sorry for everybody that showed up and we're just bullshitting tonight. So the origin of no, you don't. You're not sacrificing any bunnies, Bishop. You son of a bitch. Um, the origin of the world of the Iron Dragon Fist. So, I mean, this has to be like eight years ago. When did Albion Online come out? Um, let's see, Albion Online release date. Yeah, this was like back in the fucking like betas and shit. So this was, I don't know, like six or seven years ago. Uh, I am a big fan of guild names that are super cringy. Like, I kind of want, like, overly cringy bullshit guild names. I just love it for some reason. And one day, we were looking for the name of a guild for our Albion Online guild. And we came up with the name... The Order of the Iron Dragon Fist. Because it's just like, it's long. It's like cringy, right? Like, it's just like, ugh, really? Fucking, it's so try hard. And ever since then, almost every, like, guild or faction or whatever we did was always some form of, like, the Order of the Iron Dragon Fist. Like, my city names are always Dragon Fist or, or something like that. Um, so when I set up this YouTube channel originally, I kind of wanted it to be, like like cross game so if i was playing kenshi and our guild was the iron dragon fist or whatever like i kind of wanted it to be a world of all of these different games that we play that kind of have a common theme that kind of share that name that moniker and stuff like that it made sense in my head at the time but then all i did was play fucking rim world for like a year or two so we're probably going to rebrand it and it's also confusing and it's hard for people to find me so i'm going to rebrand that channel and rename it so that it'll have my name in it. It will probably just be the world of Killadrix. I already have a Killadrix gaming channel that I don't want to give up because that has like 10 years of videos on it that I just have hidden right now. So the short answer is that's where the name came from and that's why I'm rebranding. Um, as soon as I can figure out what I want to do for channel art, I'll get it renamed and rebranded. Well, I wanted it the world of Killadrix so we could call it Twok. I really liked... I like to walk, but if you think walk is good, we could do walk as well. Mm 
<laughs> twock. I thought twock was funny when I it was funny when I thought about it. Yo, oh, this fucking guy. What's up, Cap? This fucking South Yaro Karen showing up. Acting like he knows something. What's up, dude? Uh, let's do a guest check. No guests. I need stealing components. I'm gonna. I wish I could. Fuck, I wish I had minify everything on. All right. Uh, how are we doing on food? All right. We're getting kind of caught up on food. I need to move all this because. We gotta get them bees going. Where the bees at? Who calling us idle? What the fuck? Oh, all right. I have to fix. All. Oh, we're gonna fix this. Just. Bear with me. Uh, okay, that's actually fixed. Now that we're... Oh. Now that we're kind of back on top of shit, we can unfuck all this. That's good. Uh, hunting. What is this guy even doing? Uh, wall needs my bow. Jesus, we need some guns, dude. There used to be a cooking show on TV when I was a kid, some Chinese dude, and the show was called Walk with Yan. If you go with, you could go work. <laughs> there, there is literally nothing that I want to do less. Then play. I just can't. I, I I just I can't play fucking Dragon Fist. Hold on. I just can't. Wait, is it called Dragon Fist or? Hold on, I have to read a text message. Oh, oh, Dwarf Fortress. Dwarf Fortress is on the 6th. I thought you were talking about Dragonflight. I actually want to play Dwarf Fortress. All right, Mags is now pregnant. We need to just do better with our our pregnancies and stuff. Um, All right, let's go ahead and let's pop the... Uh, cream, uh, cream it corpse, do forever. Allow fresh off. Do not allow colonist. All right, good. All right, let's pop this mass grave bussy right now. Um, all right, that's fine. Yeah, I actually am going to play guys. I don't know what to do, guys. I need to play Victoria 3. I need to play Ogre Tactics Reborn. I need to play Dwarf Fortress. And I need to stream Rimworld like 200 hours a month. And I also need to work. And then I also need to like get all my YouTube done. And I also need to like spend time with my son. I don't. I just don't know what to fucking do. I feel like I have to quit my job. I know, but like that's that's what I do though. That's what I do. I I, I do numbers go burr. That's what that's ex that's fucking actually precisely. It's the only thing that I can do. Let's send. Let's sell all this chitin. It's a pretty good price for platypus leather as well. I'm gonna sell this night wool because fuck those things. Knee spike. I 
I, I know you were talking about. Uh, I, there's nothing that I want to do less than play a Blizzard game. Well, let me rephrase that. I would love to play a Blizzard game. I just... I'm taking a principled stand that hurts nobody but myself, if we're just being honest about it. Can we uh, de deconstruct? I'm taking a principled stand on, on Blizzard games, okay? And I'm not I'm just not playing them. I feel like it's just not It's just so fucking unnecessary. Like Blizzard is so unnecessary. Wait, what Blizzard game would I play if that stand didn't exist? Uh, listen, I'm going to give you guys a really fucking nuanced answer to that question. I would love... Okay. Yeah, you guys... Okay. Okay, John asked the question. Here we go. Here we go. So, here's what I think. I would actually love to play WoW. Uh, for those that don't know, I probably have like 10,000 fucking hours in WoW. I know life WoW for like eight years. I would actually love to play WoW. It's like my comfort food. Like, I get it. I think that despite my complaints about the game, I think it's probably one of the best MMOs on the market. Um, does it have some problems? Absolutely. Wait, Pittman? Hasn't Pittman been with us the whole time? Fisherman and Action Girl. Fuck yeah, join us. Um, does it have some problems? Sure. Um, but listen, like... For the money you spend on it, it's thousands of hours of content from front to back. They've done a really good job of revamping the leveling system. Like, the the the, the classes are decent. The combat is pretty fluid. Like, there's a lot of really good things about the game, regardless of, like, what you want to complain about. I think that WoW is a good game. I would love to play a really good MMO, and when I look at all the MMOs that are available, like, I don't want to have to learn Guild Wars 2. I don't want to have to learn Elder Scrolls Online. I don't want to, like, I just want to go play an MMO that I'm comfortable with, that just kind of, like, fits like an old condom. You know what I mean? And WoW is kind of that thing for me. But I also, I'm just, like, you know, like, Diablo 3 just pisses me off. I don't think that I would play Diablo 3. Occasionally, when I'm just angry at Path of Exile, I'm like, I just want to go be brain dead in Diablo 3 and fucking just farm torments in a group and just get sick loot. But, like, I don't even care about that anymore. So, at the end of the day, like, WoW would really be the only Blizzard game that I would want to play. I'm not interested in Overwatch. I'm not interested in HOTS. There was a time that I loved HOTS. You know, I'm just not interested really in Diablo 3. Um, I would say WoW is what it would be. Well, King, I, I mean, I think a couple things, right? I, I think you're not wrong. Like, you're absolutely not wrong, right? It, it's impossible to take a principal stand against everything in life. However, comma, when you look at the gaming market right now, there, there's... Hold on, I'm going to reframe my argument. When you look at the gaming market right now, right, it's like... I can kind of take a principled scan against WoW because there's all these other amazing games, specifically, um, I would say, uh, indie games that are full of passion, they're full of heart, and they're full of soul, and I can go play those. It's it's easy for me to take a, stand, a principled scan against a shitty company like Blizzard because there's just all of these other things over here that I can be playing. Despite me kind of want to play WoW, all of these things over here, from amazing developers, right? Passion projects, indies, that I can go play. Apple iPhone, sure. Could I get a Samsung? Does it maybe suffer from some of the same things that would cause me to take a principal stand as, as Apple? Maybe, but like, I don't have as many options on a lot of those products, you know what I mean? Like Google, I'm not gonna fucking use Bing. I'm, I'm, I'm just not, right? Like, it's garbage, so. If there was if there was a competitor that was less evil than Google, then I, but still had a good user experience, then I probably would. So I don't know. Like you're right. I get it. It's hard to argue, but that's just kind of how I feel. I would rather spend time playing all of these indie games like RimWorld and everything else than go play WoW at the end of the day.
Honestly, I fucking used the Brave Browser for a long time. I used the Brave Browser for a really long time. The, I started running into some weird problems with the Brave Browser. Uh, and, and this was like maybe five years ago, four or five years ago, I was using Brave Browser almost exclusively. But I ran into some weird like problems with it. And I don't remember what it was. Yeah, I know, Decap. Decap, fucking come in. Talking that shit. Like the South Yarrow Karen he is. Yeah, we're about to have some power problems up in here. I just think that as time goes on in the gaming world, um, all I see are studios that are kind of compromising their integrity um, and their reputation, and it saddens me. The AAA scene, with a few notable exceptions, has just absolutely gone to fucking trash in gaming, honestly. I think there are a handful of studios that are still putting out good games. Like, you, you, like the problem with the problem with Blizzard isn't even that like they've had shitty leadership, and like all the Activision stuff and the Bobby Kotick stuff. It's not even that. Look at how they've treated all of their IPs. Look at every product that Blizzard has released. Like every IP, like every IP that they've revisited, reforged, or released, and. and it's all fucking trash. Like, look what they did to HOTS. They abandoned HOTS. Look what they did to Overwatch 1. They basically abandoned Overwatch 1 in pursuit of Overwatch 2, which is just really Overwatch 1 with a fucking fresh paint of, you know, paint on it and a few less characters. Um, You know, look at what they did, like Diablo 3. What have they fucking done with Diablo 3 in the last six years? Like, they abandoned that shit, right? It doesn't even have an end game, right? So, like, look at every IP, and even you can make an argument, if you wanted to, about World of Warcraft, that every single goddamn expansion that they put out in World of Warcraft is just a regurgitated version of the first one. It's just they change the central... The What is happening here? Uh, Hot says Hero of the Storm. It was their MOBA. Uh, Hots was uh, Heroes of the Storm, so it was the Blizzard MOBA, which like it was, it was like different than League of Legends. There was things that I liked about how they did it, and there was things I didn't. I think shared XP in a fucking MOBA is the absolute worst goddamn thing they could have ever done. I know you are a king. Hey, what's happening generally? I forgot about I forgot about that one. So did Blizzard. All right, gift. Ooh, Glitter World Medicine. This is what I'm saying right now with the hospitality. If you just if you just like stroke these guys, they just give you shit. It's free money all day long. All right, let's go ahead and um We need to rebuild this shit. Basically we're gonna move our power down here. Um whoops, but not that power. Ooh, tell me first that we can uh, remove this roof. Oh, we can. Yes. Yeah, Hots, Hots was disappointing. It was fun at first, but shared XP, I think, is just a terrible idea in a MOBA. Ah, uh, fuck it. We're just going to go straight across, and we got to go down one more. We gotta pack that dirt a little farther. So, yeah, sorry to rant, everybody that's just here for hardcore RimWorld action. Did I see your question? No, I didn't, I'm sorry. Uh, have you seen me in game? My name is, oh, um. No. No, I, I don't think I have. Wait a second. Are you, like, here in my colony right now, and I just don't know it? No, I haven't seen it, Tova. I might I might do the same. That way you guys can find me and treat me right. Hopefully, if I'm in the game, I find the type of girl that, like, Joystick is. Oh, you recently got added? I'm going to keep an eye out. What do you want me to do if I find you? Do you want to be a prisoner? Do you want to be a slave? Do you want to be a hero? What do you want to be, Tova?
All right, that's fair. That's what I always appreciate about you. Like, you always like to kind of be a utility character uh, in TTK. Like, something useful. You know? Like, all these other tryhards, they want to be the hero, but not you. Remember the time you were like, listen, I'll do anything but, like, be somebody that's fighting on the front lines, and then I sent you on the front lines and you got shot in the head? Oh, God. That's still, to this day, to this day, that still haunts me a bit. All right. I need to do reacts. You mean like react? <sighs> Remember? Well, I used to back in the day when we would do Gordon Ramsay. We would watch Gordon Ramsay while I played Path of Exile because Path of Exile is just so terrible to watch. And then I would do some reacts. But is that what you want to cap? Do I need to bring reacts to the stream? Like maybe a buy-in, like a hundred thousand points, and you can send me a video and I'll react to. What do you think? Oh, Asmin style? <laughs> Ever since? Uh, I just like, I literally forgot what I was even looking for in this game right now. Um, I'm not one, I, I'm not one of the judge because like, I'm not much to look at, but ever since I noticed that Addison Gold's eyebrows don't stop moving i cannot watch them i f i literally i i just i i actually can't watch him He's a basement goblin. Tell me what you really think. Like, we need another tribal tattoo. <laughs> tribal tattoo guy. God damn it. <laughs> I can't take the tribal tattoo back, all right? You can, I can get it lasered off, but you know what? You can take the tribal tattoo off the man, but you can't take the man off. Wait a minute. How does that saying go? You know the one. I would rather watch the streamer call for four hours without blinking than watch Asmin. Yeah, I have a tough time watching Asmin. Like, for real. Wait, you would rather watch me for four hours than watch him? That's, that's actually not a huge endorsement of my stream. All right, we're getting that, we got that kill box built. King of here, if you tell me, I'm not gonna ruin the joke, go ahead. I'm not gonna ruin the joke. I know the joke, go ahead. I'll let you finish it. I don't wanna take the steam out of this one. Oh, I know what I was looking for. Um, this hand tailor bench. Oh, I thought you were going to say that it was on your dick. I thought it was one of those jokes that it's like, but it's on my dick. Because it's a long sentence. You know, you know what I mean? Like, because it's a long... Look, I just own the mistakes of my youth, okay, guys? I just own it. Guarding Renee. Oh, we don't have a prison. Oh. There will be two raids of roughly this size, but it doesn't say. You definitely need to get our prison going.
Nice. Uh, all right, our kill box is absolutely tripping balls right now. I don't know, how are we getting so much work done? Um, all right, so we, we really got to get to work. Uh, everybody has some tattered, was wearing like tattered bullshit. So let's queue up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten people. Let's queue up ten pants. Uh, let's queue up ten t-shirts. Let's queue up ten dusters. And let's queue up ten cowboy hats and see what we get here. Let's see who our top tailor is. It is the, the also the guy that is the top hunter. All right, that's fine. He's going to tailor for us. And for now, let's just go ahead and drop apparel back here. And we'll drop apparel. There we go. No, make something good with that fish stock, dude. Make some fish soup. Oh, Decap, you got a tribal. Yeah, but like, I think we're like tribal twins. Like, we're like Eskimo brothers. That's what I'm talking about. You got to rock the tribal, man. You can't be afraid of people making fun of you. You know, you got to be your own man. That's what the guy told me when he gave me the tribal tattoo. Also, why can't we just get these, like, centered? You know what I mean? Like, fuck. Freeze it on skewers, batter them, and... That sounds like a terrible idea. Uh, let's make sure that our, our guy is on it. Um, I'm going to take him off hunting. He's just going to be on tailoring. I haven't actually figured out what I'm doing with the rest of this room yet. But it'll be something amazing. Like, for sure. Yep. That's right. We're like brothers from another mother's. If you know what I mean. Something. Well, I just get a travel tattoo. If you get a fucking travel tattoo, you will get to hear about it from everybody. Okay. Everybody will complain about your travel tattoo. Like fucking fact. Or you could be like, I used to watch that show Impractical Jokers all the time, where when um, where when one of the guys loses an episode, they have to endure a punishment that they can't back out of. So one of the guys had mystery tattoos put on the other Impractical Jokers, and Sal got a picture of fucking uh, Will Smith's son on his leg, like just random. What what's his son's name? Yeah, he's got a he's got a uh, he's got a tattoo of Will Smith's face. On his on his upper thigh. If you pretend to be a fool for long enough, people won't think you're pretending. Yep, that's that's my problem. That's the corner that I get backed into. But I like to let people think that I'm a fool because a they underestimate you, but b when you act like a fool, it blurs the lines enough that people don't know if you're being serious or not. So one of the things that one trick hasn't caught on about the stream is that sometimes I do dumb shit, but because I act like an idiot all the time, nobody really knows. Like, is he really this stupid or is this is he, is this a is this like a bit, you know? Jaden, that's right. He has a picture of Jaden Smith on his upper thigh. Thank you, Tova. <laughs> Small Smith. You have an internet cat face on your left butt cheek. There is no way. Pictures or it didn't happen. The teenager says, yeah. Well, I never watched the stream, so it's hard to tell. That was my greatest, like, one trick awakening, right? When, when somehow one trick watched me play. Well, I'm going to say watched in air quotes. She watched me play RimWorld for 3,000 hours. And then when she... 
when she went to play RimWorld, she didn't know how to set a bill. And I was like, fucking hold up. Hold, hold the goddamn phone. There's no way she actually paid any attention to my stream if she didn't learn some. I, I set like 700 bills a stream to make everything, right? It's like... It's like when you fucking call somebody and, and they answer like they don't know who you are because you only always texted them, but they never put your they never put your name in their phone, right? So they just text a weird number knowing that it's you from the context of you know the preview that it shows from the last text but but then I call somebody and they're like, Hello, who's this? And I'm like, It's fucking me. You know they don't have your number in their phone. You made some banging croutons, and I didn't know that croutons could be banging. Yeah, I'm kind of a big fan of croutons, despite, like, kind of being off the carbs a bit. I, I like I like the texture that croutons bring to a salad, honestly. Like, the flavor I don't really care too much about. If they're a little garlicky, that's good. If they're not too hard, I don't want my croutons too hard. I want them just firm enough that I could bite into and they kind of explode in your mouth. Not the, not the, not the kind that are, like, chewing a, a mouthful of rocks. That's me. I don't want to say. Sorry, if you feel attacked. All right, we got some pants going on right now. Everybody's getting some fresh fucking duds right now. They're all. Um, I'm going to wait till these bills are all done, and then we'll go ahead and change the percentage. All right. So that's good. Now, the next thing that we need. I miss everyone. You've played more Rimmel than I have at this point. I was like one of those pre-Patreon supporters. That said, I... Oh, uh, yeah. I know. You were... I remember when I first started playing, like, you took me under your wing and you taught me everything that you knew. You were very helpful, but at some point, the student became the master. You wish you could go back. Wait, wait, are you talking about because you're like working from home or what's happening? Oh, everybody else is just numbers. Jesus, one trick. Am I just a number to you? One trick. Am I just a number? That is fucking hurtful. It's hurtful to find out. But the show must go on. So I want to tell you guys a dirty little secret. Okay? A dirty, dirty little secret. Because I'm a dirty little boy sometimes. Uh, hold on. <sighs> I'm actually just letters in a voice. That's That's fair. It's better than just being a number. That is true. Nobody cares about Elon. Like, that guy can eat shit. Yeah, I feel like if I had Elon money, I would just fuck off and nobody would ever hear from me. Well, you guys would. I would just stream full time. Um, I would just stream full time. I, I would just wouldn't care. You know what I mean? But there's... Wait, what? Uh, need storage. Uh, let's... yeah. If I was Elon, I would just like fuck off. I I would just I would just be like fuck you. Try this again and not fuck it up this time. Oh, I'm gonna pause.
pause to make sure I get the numbers right. Well, fuck me. Uh, holy shit, we did it. Uh, all right, so here we're going to put some dandelions here. We're gonna put some barley here. We're gonna put some BGP coffee here. We're gonna hit the floors with a little bit of till juice. But not like this. <laughs> stonks, stonks, fucking meme. Stonks go up, White Tiger. Good luck, buddy. Explain why people like that. Um, I'll, if you want me to, I'll tell you why people like him. And it's going to piss some people off in my stream. And I'm sorry that if anybody feels insulted by this. But I feel like if you look at the Venn diagram of people that watch Andrew Tate videos, people that consider themselves top G's, and people that like Elon Musk, that Venn diagram is a circle, a perfect circle. The people who like Andrew Tate and Joe Rogan and, and fucking Elon Musk is like a perfect fucking circle. And that circle is comprised of... Uh, this is the part that's going to piss people off, I'm sorry. But it's comprised of, like, directionless people who feel the need. Who, insecure, directionless fucking people that just feel the need to cling on to some type of weird father figure that will give them the inside information, that will give them the stuff that they don't want you to know, right? Um, and they're going to give you stuff that runs contrary to popular belief or mainstream media you know what i mean like it's just a weird fucking subsection uh, of like mostly just insecure white men fuck i'm sorry it's the fucking truth and this is coming from a guy who is a former joe rogan fan coming from a guy that is a former jordan fucking peterson fan i've probably watched 500 hours of jordan peterson fucking youtube videos and lectures and that's my take. I know the people. I, I, that, yeah. Hey, King, what's happening? So, that's my take. That's the people that like Elon Musk. Uh, yeah, well, like, my redemption arc started because somebody that I respect, well, it was started for a couple of reasons. Number one, I realized that I believe things too holy, right? W-H-O-L-L-Y. And I started to listen, I started to, like, seek out information that ran contrary to beliefs. Like, I started to really fucking acid test my beliefs and then... Like, once I started watching videos of people that were criticizing these people that I couldn't realize why everybody else didn't like, once I started watching those videos, I'm like, wait a second. They're fucking... They're... They're right. <laughs> you know? Um, and that's... I just gave that shit up. I just fucking gave it up. And now I just... I smell it, like, from a mile away. Oh, thank you, hubby. Uh... Some people might not, some people might be pissed off about that because they still might be in that world where there's value to fucking Joe Rogan or JVP or fucking Ben Shapiro or any of those idiots or Elon, right? Where, where they're, where they're, where those people are where I was, you know, fucking five years ago or six years ago. But that's, that's my take as, as a, as a former, one of those directionless fucking insecurity, it's. I'm still directionless and insecure, but just in a different way. I think in a healthier way. 
Okay, do we have beans? Oh, we're charming the pants off of this dude. Nice. Everybody's getting charmed. Look at that. 95%, 87%. Yeah, King, I would say that that the tragedy of Jordan Peterson is there are a few things that I think that he's right about. But I think that there are too many things that he's just hurtfully fucking wrong about that it's hard for me to even acknowledge the things that he's right about. You know what I mean? Like, that, that that's the, tr the tragedy of Jordan Peterson, right? Well, I think there's a lot of tragedies of Jordan Peterson, but yeah. Directionless and insecure, but now you're the talky man who tells others things. Um, that is true. Hmm. I don't know how to parse that one. I'm going to be honest with you, one trick. I can't tell if that is an, an insult or is that a compliment? I know, King. I know. And I work I work really hard. I work really hard to love you anyway, buddy, okay? You know I fucking you know I still love you. <laughs> I still I still I fucking I work really hard to love you. Okay, despite being a swing voter, my friend. Uh, let's see. We're going to put barley tea, garden tea, dandelion tea, and psychi tea all on here. Let's make sure we have bills. Uh, do I not have a bill for psychi tea? Get shut up. Uh, dandelion, barley, garden, psychi. All right. I hate everyone, so I vote for what I like. Um, he, here's my take, right? God, I try, I try really hard not to be political, guys. I try. Here's my take. Here's my take on politics right now. You know, I told you the story about when I voted, and some some of you heard this story about when I went to vote and the lady was like trying to sell me on uh, because I had to I had to register in my new town and she's like trying to sell me as marking myself down for an independent like she she brought it up like three times like she's like oh I noticed that you didn't um you didn't declare your party affiliation she was like if you just want to declare independent um it'll give you flexibility to change your vote in the future or vote whichever way you want and I was like no no, no I'm I'm good like I know which way I'm gonna vote and then she brought it up like two more fucking times and I was just like no 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 thank you thank you I'm I'm happy to declare. Here's the reality to all of the both sidesers is I would say this. There, there is a zero fucking percent chance that I will ever, 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 ever vote for a party who is hellbent on taking away women's rights or infringing trans rights or gay rights. Like, there's just a zero fucking percent chance that I will ever vote for the Republican Party without a significant reform of whatever they call their fucking platform and a significant reform of the fucking lunatics that they have in the party right now. So there's just there's just no fucking chance. So that's why I get so angry about the both sidesers. And I'm not angry at anybody in the chat that's a both sidesers or anybody that's an independent, but I just can't fucking imagine going in and casting a vote for a political party that wants to overturn Roe v. Wade and take healthcare decisions away from women and um, 
and insert political fucking leaders into it or um take away trans rights or the ability for trans kids you know children and or families with trans children to make decisions that are right for them between them and their, them and their doctor or to infringe upon gay rights um like it's it, it for me personally it's unfucking conscionable to go place that vote i don't i don't care um that's just me so that's why I, that's why i get frustrated with both sizers but i also Everybody's free to vote however they like. Everybody else is free to to vote their values. So, but also, I don't want to turn chat into like if anybody has an opposing viewpoint, I, I I'm happy, but I also don't want to turn chat into like a problem tonight. That's that's all. So I I it's my fault because I waded into this territory, but I would like everybody to remain respectful. I think political parties are the worst thing to have. It. I, yeah, I, I do think that the two-party system is fucking terrible, but I also think that there's no other good way. There's there's no other good way. Well, I don't want to say there's no other good way. There are better ways to do it than the two-party system. I don't see a good way for us to change from the two-party system to anything else. I personally am a huge supporter of ranked choice voting. Yeah. And I'm just over here being apolitical. Listen, Train, that is... If, if someone... If someone wants to be an independent, if they want to be a Republican or they want to be a Democrat, like, I don't, I don't have any beef, right? Like, I don't have any beef with people who are thoughtful in how they want to vote. Like, people that are like, uh, I live in fucking Kentucky and my family has always voted Republican, so I'm going to vote. Like, I have, that's dumb. If somebody is thoughtful about why they're voting the way they are, I really have no beef with them. Um, but... And if somebody wants to be apolitical, but the reality is if you are apolitical, you're still casting a vote, right? The absence of your vote is a vote. Um, so even being apolitical, you're still, you're still having an impact. Um, you're still impacting the political system in exactly the way that you're attempting to abstain from it. That's all. Fifty-five hex gel down, one hundred forty-five to go. Want to fix the issue, uh, Theo? I'm a, I say fucking abolish the electoral college, rank choice vote. Let's just do it. Yeah, and eat the rich. I'm down for that as well. Well, I'm glad that we all are mostly on the same page politically, so chat doesn't turn into an absolute fucking shit fest tonight. And hopefully, we didn't get too many unfollows, unliked, unsubscribed, undonates. All right, what were we working on here? I don't even remember. I know we were working on... Let's, uh... Yes, if that's... Yeah, if that speech got on follows, I'm fucking... I'm 100... Like, I'm comfortable with that. Um... Sorry, any hidden billionaires in chat? That's... <laughs> That's right. Sorry to any of the hidden billionaires in chat. Our bad. My bad. My bad. I didn't mean to go on a rant. All right. Let's get back to hard hardcore RimWorld fun before I have to go pick my son up. I agree a thousand percent, Theo. I fucking they, they should not be political, right? And the worst part, if we if we want to make it even worse, right? Why are those things political and politicized? Well, part of it is because of the fucking church. Like, right? Part of it is, like, a lot of it has to do with the intersection of, um, let's just refer to it as white, white nationalist theocracy, um, and politics, uh, that are, that are just kind of being merged in the United States. No, we're not. I'm not telling you. Apology accepted. <laughs> I'm not telling you guys how old Joystick is, okay? Because then you guys are gonna try hooking her up with some fucking savage. No offense to any savages in chat. Oh. <gasps> oh no. I forgot we had preggers. We've got fucking pregos right now. Um. All right. We'll look and get expertise. Let's get our head in the game. Intellectual. Uh, researching. Perfect. 
Uh, what are we doing about this fucking baby, though? I don't even have a spot. I think we're short on beds. Fuck me. I'm, I can't unpause it until I come to some 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 form of determination on how we're going to take care of this baby. I don't have any bedrooms available. I mean, I guess we could just go ahead and put a crib. Um... Let's get a crib in, where's Fry's bed? Oh shit, I do have this bedroom available. We could convert that. I'll tell you what, let's just put the crib in first. You know, I actually thought about the no pause challenge, but like the problem with the no pause challenge is, um, wait, do I have anything to make a chair out of? Holy shit, nipples, we don't. I guess we're going to do a wooden chair. So here's the problem with the no pause challenge is that I think that is it's going to be extraordinarily unfun for Chet. If I do a no pause challenge, I'm going to be we're going to be playing on one X like this is us. This is us right here, right? For like 50 hours of the playthrough. One X because I can't take the chance of going any faster and having bullshit happen. Like if I do a no pause challenge, it's going to be the, the most cuckiest run you've ever seen. We're just going to sit in our base the whole time and be afraid of everything. So, I mean, if that's... No, because what I'm saying is, if we're on 2x and something happens, like, it's too late. You know what I mean? It's just like, it's too late. Uh, I would say go for City Council, King. Absolutely. I think that would be badass. No, Joystick does not want a little 3X. No. Actually, I have to go to the bathroom. Hold on. Don't let the baby come. I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta pee. I gotta pee real bad. Don't let the baby come, guys. All right, I'm back. I'm hoping Jackson's grandmother just keeps him overnight so I can actually get some sleep tonight. All right. Anyone wants to pee together? Come over. God damn it. God damn it. All right, I need somebody to open these. Um, I need somebody to crack open some hives. What are we working on? Ooh, our smithing. We're actually about to have guns, okay? It took us a hundred a hundred days. Yep, pre break pee breaks over, everybody back to work. Alright, Fry. Third trimester. What else do I need? Alright, I think we got the bills all done. Oh, we need the dusters. Did we build the crib and shit? Okay. Alright. I think we're good. We gotta wait for Fry to go into labor. 
All right, smithing is done. I'm, I'm being really lazy about my building tonight, guys. I'm sorry. I'd like to say that I'm doing my best, but like I'm not even, I'm not really convinced that I am. I feel like I'm just talking and, and there's a game in the background, you know? Uh, let's put this here. Uh, all right, so on here, we want to clear. Uh, we want uh, dandelion. We want dandelion cuttings. We want barley, and we want... Coffee beans. Damn, train wreck with 3,400 kilocash already. You could buy one audio redemption with that. Don't spend it all in one place, train. Wait a second. Who the fuck is this guy? Oh my god. His name is Payne Rich. He's a husser. Childhood rich kid. Wimp, animal lover, we're, okay. I thought maybe it's somebody we could hook joystick up with, but apparently he's a little bitch. His name should be Payne Rich the Bitch. This is actually not my, I, I'm, this is a much more creative base than I'm used to making, okay? And you know this, and you know this. New wrestler name, Pain Rich. Yes. What do you what, what do you want me to make these floors out of, bro? I'm not putting wood floors down like some type of goddamn savage. That's not gonna happen. Sorry, like some kind of asshole, like a wood floor asshole. Hey, Gray. Hey, Gray. Hey, Gray. Real quick. This is your stream captain speaking. I've turned on the no backseating light and ask that you return to your seat, buckle your seatbelt, and kindly shut the fuck up. Hardwood? Yeah, but the problem is... Like, we're so close to getting better floors down. How do you think? Look at there's tilled soil. <laughs> there's tilled soil in there. I just really wanted to say bunny. No. Yeah, I, I got. Yeah, I got the. It was. Uh, I. I just wanted to let that joke go, but. So my, somehow you guys are. Determined to fucking keep that joke alive. Actually, that's not gonna work. No, it's not a three k hours of arrogance. It's that. It just doesn't make a lot of sense to put in wood floors that I'm going to end up just pulling back out. Like, I'm going to do this, and it's probably going to be catastrophic, but it must be done. Oh, look who it is. Hey, River Song. Uh, Oistoy Aki Por La Cerveza.
Of course I remember you. Uh, but the but of course. How have you been? What is going on? Let's do a guess check. This dude is like 39%. Why is Getty's angry? Okay, there we go. We're, we're fluffing him right now. We're fluffing him. 49. Good, good, good. We fluffed a dodo all the way up. And what do we get for a treat? We got a makeshift pistol. Thank you. We'll give Tex... Wait, where's Tex? Tex, you can come take this uh, makeshift pistol. Uh. Wait, why does this guy have a quest? What the fuck? What? Joystick, come talk to Rich. Uh, simple meals, cloth, herbal medicines. What beer? I don't really drink beer anymore. I drink Grey Goose. Oh, he's got $26 to his name. Um, Lately, I've been drinking Grey Goose with soda water and a little bit of grenadine. I'll sell all this shit. Nobody cares. All right, we are researching work attire. Yeah, that would be nice, right? Like, you just, you just select. Like, I want to sell any clothes that are, like, less than 50, like, 50% 50 or less. To sell them shits. We got a masterwork bed. Nice. Prison bed, bitches. Uh, they were afraid. Oh, these people are afraid to enter our territory because the social fighting. I will assure their safety. Please, visitors. Please come. Oh, these guys. Look at. Oh. Is, is Joaquin Lover Bray, is this the guy for our joystick? Let's find out. Ooh. He is a survivalist. He's age 14. He's an archer. Childhood crash baby from the Western Republic. Wait, how old? She's about to be 14. What about this guy right here? Um... Oh, he's a senator. Okay. I want you guys to hear me out. I want you guys to hear me out. What if Joystick leverages her feminine wiles to seduce a senator? And then we kill the senator and she becomes the senator. Oh, they need to have the kind trait. Not this guy right at all. It's definitely not this person. All right. All right. We'll, we'll keep looking. Wait, there's four of them here. Uh, Ellison, Lover, Morgan, and Sappy. Maybe it's Sappy. Neat, sanguine cat person. 57 years old. He's, Sappy's got wrinkly balls. Like, there's not going to be any wrinkly balls near Joystick. We have to find somebody with a kind trait. Do you know how long it could take us? To find the perfect pawn for joystick. Maybe that's the play. Is that I set expectations that are too unrealistic for us to ever find somebody that can meet them. And then and then joystick will just be pure and free and happy forever. We went from people surviving to some medieval let's marry our kids off for power. <laughs> yeah, we did. This did escalate quickly. Wait, I can make her a clone mate. But, um, what do I need for that? When I need xenogenetics? It's only a thousand for xenogenetics, Bishop. Did this lady have her baby? What's happening? Fuck. All right, let's do a guest check. Let's make sure we're fluffing the guests. Which one was the senator? This thing, the thing senator. Yeah, this was the senator right here. The senator is only forty-five percent happy. We need more fluffing on the senator. Also, we're, yeah, we're up to like twenty-five, twenty-five hundred dollars. That's decent. I'll take it.
Also, maybe we take this quarter right here and we turn this into the classroom. I also need a place for us to do our crafting, though. I guess maybe we could do a crafting place, like, up here. That might not be terrible. Do a crafting place there. We could do a school in here. We need to get rid of this shit, though. We also need to put more bedrooms in. Wait, just a god... Oh, guys, I thought we took care of this, guys. I thought we took care of this shit. Jesus Christ. Alright, there we go. But I also really don't want to put all the bedrooms in the same spot either. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want this to be just all bedrooms. Maybe we build out some more bedrooms, like, over here. You know what I mean? That way you guys don't yell at me about the base just being a giant rectangle. Nobody, nobody wants a base that's a giant rectangle. What's this guy doing? Why is he all fucking naked? Why is the senator running around naked? This dude had clothes when he came in. What? He was just watching them sleep. What the fuck is this guy doing? This guy just took off his clothes and started cleaning. All right. But no, Bunny is still, wait, where's Bunny's bedroom? We need to put a fucking lock. We need to put a fucking lock on her bedroom. Imagine waking up to an, a, a naked senator from ancient Rome. All right, joystick is almost 14. Perfect. No, she's not pregnant, guys. It's like, come on. This is not what she's... She has massive smoke. I mean, she's total fucking stoner. All right, we are researching. <laughs> We're researching work attire because we want to basically min max. I think we should plant more cotton because we have so many clothes we need to make. I mean, we got the tattered. All the tattered clothes are gone, but I'm growing here, eighty-one percent growth. Okay. Uh, all right. And get rid of these. Who got mud on the handle of the broom? Oh, God. You need to be making t-shirts for the gift shop. Wait, will they buy clothes, Gray Mulkin? Like, will they, like, buy, like, anything I put in there? Really? Yeah. Yeah, everything. We should be we should be able to sell anything. I just thought they would buy food and shit. I mean, I don't have any ability to make anything right now, though. We are we're bone dry. Wait a goddamn second. Wait just a goddamn second, guys.
Looking good. I mean, I do have enough wood to put wood floors down. I just feel like it's such a, like, bitch move. Did I make the wrong coffee? I, I bet I... Oh, we're pretty good on meals. Let's check our power. We're actually a little low on steel. Oof. Looking at your numbers here. You got simp and selenemia. Literally fucking nobody has simp and selenemia. Okay, come on. Oh, yeah, I'll send him a note about the new job. I'll send him a note. I'll shoot him a note af after the stream and tell him about the new job. He's chopping them carrots? Get, yeah, that's like, I like it. I like it, River. Get that man to work. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's see. Production. Oh shit, we don't have a machine. Wait, we have smithing but not machine. God damn it. I feel like sometimes we just build everything out of order. Do you guys ever feel like that? He found a tiny carrot? I'll bet he did. I'll fucking bet he did. If you know what I mean. Hey, Icky, what's going on? We built, that's right, we did build this city on rock and roll. Fuck yeah, we did. Guys, we are actually clutching this run. Like, imagine, imagine us in our, our little ragtag group of misfits and ne'er-do-wells somehow pulling off a naked brutality run of this, of this caliber, right? Fucking wild. I didn't think that we had it in us. I have something that I want to do. I have a, I have a vanity project that's going to consume a lot of time in this colony. And it's pro probably not going to uh, return anything meaningful. But, but alas. We need one, two, three. Four, five. You know what? You have my permission not to do anything. How does that sound? You have my permission. You want me to call your boss and be like, listen, Icky Nico is sick today. You want me to get you want me to get your back like that? I got you. Tell me there is some components here. Thank gooses. We got some components. What are we doing about... Look at this thing. Can we tame, can we tame this? Wait a second. I think I have an animal tamer still. Somebody has an animal tamer. All right, guys, I just got the, I got the text. I've got about, I've got about 15 minutes. Fuck. I thought I was going to have more time. I thought I was going to have more time, team, to get shit done. 15. They're, they're leaving in 10 and dropping them off, so. What did we get? We got a fire bronze spatha. I don't know what a spatha is, but I'm glad to have it. Oh, it's like a sword. It's like a gladius. A lot can happen if it, but not, this run is so tightly controlled is the problem. Uh, we're allied with the void. We haven't even gone to see the void yet. 
The, the Void does not want to fuck with this, I guess is what we've learned. That is right. The, sh the ship launch would take one hour. No way we're getting the ship off the ground uh, today. Or rather, tonight. Oh, let me look at the schedule and see what nights I'm going to be back. It might be Sunday. Hold on. Let me back up. Oh, shit. Oh, growth moment. Growth moment for Joystick. Oh. Okay, that was fucking uninspired. Oh, she can do nucle nuclear now. Uh, hold on. Let me go back to looking at this schedule. On the sneeze rescue. What? Oh. Wait, is she having the baby? Oh, God. Who's the best doctor? She's the best doctor! All right, wool. Let's get wool in here. Quickly! 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 All right, we did it. Uh, is she having the baby? Oh, inspect the baby jeans. Oh. All right, let's just make sure she's taken care of. We don't want to lose another baby. No, we are not of no, 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 no. It's not like that. Like, well, it's more of a partnership than us being subservient to them. You know what I mean? Like, it's like uh, it's like a, we the the void and I have a mutual respect. Like, they understand that uh, like their power comes from their bionics, from their guns, uh, from their crazy monsters that they have, and they realize that our power comes from friendship. And I think that they're smart enough to understand that the power of friendship. And the power of cold hard steel. They're just at an impasse. They they wouldn't be, they wouldn't be able to take us. Uh, so her movement is affected by the fact that she's pregnant in her third trimester and stoned on. <laughs> No. You guys just don't. You guys don't get it. You know. That's the. I, I like. I understand. Where did the rest of those trees go? Uh, here we go. I know I got six of them bitches. I know there's another apple tree somewhere in a box. I'll take that dead turkey though. Somebody steal my my apple tree? All right, let's um. Don't sit under the apple tree with anybody but me. I feel like that is that a um is that a song lyric from The Cure? I feel like we actually got a lot done on this base tonight. Somehow. Despite all of the distractions and bullshit. We kind of, like, crushed it. I wish we gotten more B stuff done. Uh... Missing one... What? I'm confused. I have these...
Oh, it's the cure. Got it. Yup. I knew it. Oh. There we go. Oof. Oh, God, they're even. Oh, God, why? Drone, mild queen, mild drone, mild queen, mild drone, mild queen, mild drone, mild queen, mild drone, mild queen. There we go. Oh yeah, you guys do not want to see my feet. Four years in the military, and it's just you know it's not good, guys. It's not fucking good. Wait, can anyone gift? Wait, what are you? What's going on, Raisin? Okay, how are we doing on power? Hobbit feet, big old fucking Hobbit feet. All right, we got some bees going uh, there. Get a bee down here. Uh, let's see. Looking good. King's four. The black bear is in Lisa. A thirteen-year-old named Lisa is calling a six of pack. A, 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 a. All right, we're gonna take her. She's just a cringe-ass baseliner, but I think we can kill six bears. So that a young girl doesn't get murdered. She's got a face tattoo, though. I don't know. She's 13 year old, calling me, telling me about them bears. Uh, we actually probably are not. This might be. This might be. This might get saucy right now. Like absolutely fucking saucy. Um, while we're at it, oh god, I don't have really any, Lisa, you're gonna stand a fucking post down here. Oh shit, okay, we killed, a, we killed a few of them, uh oh, there we go. We've got two guns, guys, oh god. <sighs> you know what time it is. Oh god, she's pregnant. This might have been a terrible fucking idea. Alright, I think we're okay. We did it, we did it. Uh. Alright, everybody that's dying, 17 hours, 17 hours, yeah, yeah 8 hours, 15 hours, oh god, 5 hours? Um... He's gonna tend real quick. Wait, what the fuck? Alright, we're getting some tendies. God up. gives his toughest battles to his strongest soldiers. Which is not you. Bro, I literally just crushed six man hunting fucking grizzly bears. Whoever, whoever just paid for that, okay. This is a god tier naked brutality run. Take you, take it back. Look at this big old fucking bear meat we're gonna have. Uh, 
Oh, fuck. Tex, bop this dude. Ooh! He did. Uh, all right, let's make sure everybody's good. 15 hours getting tended. Five hours getting tended. 23 hours. All right, we should be good to go. All this shit and slice them and dice them. Let's make some more. Let's make some more hats and shit. God damn it! One trick. No, you do not. Sometimes I wonder. Okay, Lisa, that's not really what that was meant to be. Lisa, you're a big girl now. All right, do we have any guests? No guests. We're going to need a separate stove just for the garden teas and shit. River has to go back to... Wait, was she not working? Wait, she has to go back to work, like, tonight? What the fuck? All right, let's take a look at Lisa. Is she useful? Slow learner, miss... Oh. Shut your goddamn mouth and look at this. Uh, let's see. I'll tell you what. We're going to put her on cooking, brewing, and butchering with the number two in harvesting. All right. There we go. Bye, River. She's a boss, so she has to make people do things. Nothing wrong with that. Load these fucking bees up, team. Let's go. And... We're looking good. I have to get that beeswax. Some people might refer to it as that bussy wax, if you know what I mean. I probably should call it here. Uh, I probably should call it here because I should get ready to get my son. We're going to raid. We'll raid over. I'll tell you what. You guys have a good evening. I will probably be back like some point this weekend. I don't know when. I'll post in the Discord channel. I'm going to go ahead and raid over. Does somebody have it raided yet? Uh, but I appreciate you guys all being here. King, really good to, to hear from you and see you. I'm glad you're feeling better. River, if you're still here, um, always a pleasure. Thank you. Um, you guys have a great night. Bishop, thanks for always being here. I still need to VIP you, uh, as well as probably uh, Raisin and a few others. So I appreciate all of you. I love you guys. Thank you. Uh, we're going to rain over, and I'll see you guys. Pro hey, AJ Hubby, have a good night. Thank you. I'll see you guys in a couple days. I'll post in the stream schedule, but I know it's just going to be, for the next couple of days, it's just going to be kind of any time. So... I love you guys. Have a good evening. And uh, I, I will... Whoops, hold on. I fucked up the raid. God. Okay, I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm still here. There we go. Uh, and I'll see you guys at some point in the next few days. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. I got a raid and run.